Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap for Wednesday, August 6th. Uh, green day today, plus $916.25. Two mighty 90s, did one in Tesla for plus 275, and then a small loser in Facebook, minus 65. On the runners, Roku, plus 684. NVIDIA, a small winner, plus 70. Snap, a loser, minus 126. Did two different trades in the NASDAQ. One was short. That was a loser. One was long. That was a nice winner. And then coin, a uh, small loss, minus 60. So let's go through these. I'll show you what we did. Let's start with the mighty 90s and check out Tesla. Tesla, Tesla, Tesla. So Tesla was coming down, coming down, coming down. Got some increasing volume here. I was waiting for it to crack through the lows and get down to yesterday's low, this yellow line. Uh, got, I started here and then added here and then just caught that bounce right there for a nice winner in Tesla. Facebook was not as nice as Tesla. Uh, Facebook was pushing higher, had this spike in volume, got short right here. And then I added, um, right here at the unchanged mark, caught that down move and, uh, ended up minus 65 net net onto the runners. Roku was a really nice winner. This was the first trade of the day. I, this is probably my favorite kind of trade here. Uh, so we got our first five minute bar and then the second one, the volume just started moving. I mean, within the first minute of this first five minute bar, it was as high as the first. So with those, we don't like to wait. You gotta be aggressive getting in, jumped in probably about right here and caught this and just peeled them off all the way up to that pivot. Booked uh, book 684 on just a few contracts there. So. Nice quick run in Roku for us. NVIDIA. Uh, NVIDIA was a small winner. Um, so uh, market bounced back up through highs of the day and then when it pulled back to unchanged, got long here. Scaled out of, was out of three quarters of my position at this point here, held one and then it came back down and I added looking for another bounce and it just kind of kept trailing, trailing, trailing. So when it bounced up here, I ended up just cutting out and uh, taking a small winner plus 70 on NVIDIA. Snap. Snap was a small loser. Snap uh, made this big push up. And then, no, let's see. No, no, no. I think I, what did I do here? Well, I don't remember. I think it was... I think it was this volume runner to the downside. No, 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 it was, it was right here. That's right. Big spike in volume here. So when it pulled back here, I was looking for a continuation higher and it just kept going lower. I was really quick to cut this one off, which ended up being a good idea. So small loss and snap. And then on Coinbase, uh, this is one where I just, I cut out really quick. Had this big spike in volume here. When it pulled back, I got long. It started to bounce. I was really close to getting at a half. And then when it rolled over here, I just I cut back out. It wasn't going anywhere. On um, these volume runners, we really like a quick move. And if it doesn't happen quickly, you got to be quick to cut. Uh, NASDAQ, two trades here. So let's go to the futures. So in the NASDAQ, uh, the first one was a downside runner. Had this, uh, the market started, this is, I tell you what, this is one of the most difficult types of markets to trade in where you get these big swings and, and, and no follow through and, and you get faked out. So if you can make money or, or just preserve capital on days like this, uh, that that's a, that's a win. And so, you know, the NASDAQ started off really strong, three big strong bars in a row, and then just fell apart all the way down through the lows. And so when it bounced here, uh, I was looking for a continuation lower, so I got short. And actually, I think maybe right around here, got short. And then this thing just ripped. And so very quickly with just a few contracts, found myself down you know, over 900 bucks. So I ended up just cutting out there. And then it started chopping around, right on around unchanged, above the highs of day. So I got long uh, about right here. And it looked like it was getting ready to rip. And then it just kind of fell apart. It just kind of started chopping around. So you, you, so you not only didn't get that follow through, but you had to be patient. I mean, I, I sat th through this thing all day. I just kind of kept my eye on it. And then finally this thing bounced up and above the highs again. 
And so when it pulled back, I added, uh, added some more, and then I scaled out as this thing ran up and booked over a thousand bucks on that on the long side. So that is my day. Hope everybody else had a good day of trading plus nine hundred sixteen dollars and twenty five cents. We'll be streaming live tomorrow and Thursday. Look forward to seeing everybody in the live stream room. See you then.